what happened when we first came here, um, the, our kids, Ryan was about 12, I guess, 73, 162, so he was 11, and that was nine. And so they were getting involved in all the sports here in, in Virgil, and at the time it was you know, hockey and uh, softball. Soccer hadn't started at all. Uh, there was a little bit of basketball at the at uh, NDSS on Saturday mornings, but uh, it was mainly softball in the summer and hockey and bridge skating for Anne in the winter. And what happened was when Anne started to play softball, it uh, occurred to me that they were certainly, the girls didn't have a situation nearly as well organized as the boys. Softball. And they had good teams over the years, many years. They won different championships here in Niagara and Lake. Uh, so I t went to a meeting, um, and uh, they had an organizational meeting or for the next year, you know, they do it every year, registration and so on, and still do. I see the ads in the paper, and so I went, and I thought that they, we, the girls should have as much chance to play in the Virgil Sports Park as the boys. They were playing, the girls were playing at schools, and they didn't have proper diamonds at schools. I mean, they had some diamonds, you know, but they weren't groomed, they, and they weren't lined, and they didn't maybe have bases, you know, even bases, and they didn't have very good. It, it was, it was, they had wonderful people who coached them, and gave a lot of time, but they just didn't have the chance to play under the lights or anything like that. So anyway, and I thought, why would they have boys softball and girls softball when one administration, the one administrative body could run both, you know, and schedule the games and, and look after the order the equipment and so on. So of course, in due time I was president of the association and we had and it was really successful because it did work you know we had really good talent on the men's uh, the boys softball and then good talent on the gir girls and although I never played you know any organized softball in my life but that doesn't matter you know it's easy that's it, it's an organizational thing and of course Ed was very involved with looking after equipment and so on and I got a teacher who happened to be a friend who taught at NDSS art so he had uh, made all the shirts for the girls you know like that did the uh, silk screening the shirts for the girls so they did and we got sponsors and all the things that had been happening in the boys but never happened in the girls softball and we introduced t-ball at that time which, uh, so for the little kids, which was sort of new, I think, at the time. So that's really what started me, um, <laughs> you know, on that path, I guess, because uh, that, you know, that it seemed to be a need that was there and should be fixed.